daily devotionals for May 15th. Today's scripture reading will be Luke 17, verse 3 and 4. Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in a day, and seven times in a day returns to you saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. Well, this is Jesus. And, you know, he's giving us, he's really teaching us a lesson. We need to always walk in forgiveness. When we walk in forgiveness, it gives us peace of mind and peace in our heart. We then have clean hands and a pure heart. Um, if you don't forgive, it does two things. It keeps you in bondage, plus it prevents the Lord from doing the work in the other person. Okay? Uh, and sometimes it's going to take, uh, somebody may be <laughs> doing something against you. They're going to have to re repent a lot and you need to forgive a lot. Okay. But you want to always walk in forgiveness and not only forgive, but we need to forget. We don't want to keep ourselves in bondage. All right. We want to be free. We want to have liberty by the spirit of God. So forgive your brother quickly. Uh, you know, Peter said, how many times, Lord? Seven? Seven times seven? And the Lord said, no, 70 times seven. So, you know, walk in a spirit of love and forgiveness and forget what they have done against you. That's generally the hardest thing to do. We can forgive somebody. I remember the Lord telling me, you know, I forgave someone. And I said, Lord, I forgave him a long time ago. He said, no, you didn't. He said, you forgave them with your lips, but not your heart. There's a difference. But walk in forgiveness continuously, okay? And therefore, it closes the door for you that, you know, you don't have that offense or whatever, the unforgiveness in you. And it opens the door for the Lord to do a work in that person, okay? And we always want to uh, allow Holy Spirit to do a work in someone else. You know, it's, a, it's another uh, uh, diamond in your crown, so to speak, okay? All right, till next time, be blessed.